Welcome back to another faithful video on pastorjerome.org. Thank you for logging in and staying connected every Thursday um, as we bring a faith substance to lift you up and bless you in life's journey. Today, another interesting subject for the next few minutes. I want to share with you three reasons as to why people lose their healing. Three reasons as to why people lose their healing. Now, we find this very often in our services and you would have been a person also who received your healing and later on in a few years you would have found out you lost it and you were questioning as to why it happens. You may be a servant of God in your ministry, you have people being healed and they suddenly lose their healing. We must find out through the scriptures whether this is possible and um, if it is possible that you can lose your healing, then how do you keep your healing? It is interesting that in John chapter 5, verse number 14, that Jesus meets a man after he has been healed. Jesus meets a man after he has been healed and he tells him something very interesting. This is the man at the pool of Bethesda. He tells him, Jesus, finding him in the temple, said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. John 5.14 The man at the pool of Bethesda has been healed. Jesus meets him after that, sees him. Perhaps maybe his behavior um, caused Jesus to really speak these words to him. Um, we do not know because nothing is said of his behavior. But Jesus finds him in the temple, finding him meaning perhaps Jesus was looking for him to get this message across after he was healed. And he tells him, look, now you, that you are healed, don't sin again. Be careful of your lifestyle because you can not only lose what you got, something worse can happen. My precious people of God, we have so many people in our day and age today, they receive such goodness from the Lord and few months later their life is still in hell. They are they're experiencing hellish situations in their life. How does this happen? Why does this happen? So we need to understand that it can happen. You can lose your healing. Something worse can happen. You need to protect your lifestyle. And I want to share with you three reasons. If, 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 it, if it is possible according to John 5.14, then we need to take precautions. You need to tell people to watch this broadcast, tell people about this broadcast, share it with others and let them learn. Three things. I'm going to give it to you in three S's. The first S, people lose their healing when they disconnect themselves from the source. The source. The source. In John 15, verse number 4, the words of Jesus, Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. The branch cannot bear fruit of itself. What is he trying to say? My precious people of God, the source, the source, we are a branch, he's the vine. The branch cannot survive on its own. It, 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 is, it has to be connected to the source. That is how you keep your healing. When you come for a healing service and the anointing touches you, the power of God touches you, the life of Jesus touches you, you have to stay connected to that life. The life flows through the vine into the branch. If the branch can survive on its own or think, thinks it can survive on its own, you're finished. So the first reason I want to share with you is if you disconnect yourself with the source, who is the source? God himself, Christ himself is the source. If you disconnect and you run after uh, foreign gods and these new age methods of healing, Reiki and, and all of these other healing methods that are there, it's very dangerous, my precious pe people of God. Very dangerous. So firstly, stay connected to the source. Secondly, stay connected to the servant the servant of God that the Lord used to bring healing into your life. In Acts chapter 3 verse number 11, the Bible says that when the lame man was healed, after he recognized that he was healed, 
he held on to the servants of God whom God used to heal him. He held, Acts 3 verse 11. He held on to Peter, he held on to John. He didn't let them go. Stay connected to the source, which is God, and stay connected to the servant of God, who is the man that God used to heal you. Stay connected. The source, the servant of God. And lastly, the substance, the substance. Stay connected to the source, stay connected to the servant of God and stay connected to the substance of God. The substance, see beloved, if you go to a doctor to bring healing or health back into your body, the doctor will prescribe medication. If he prescribes an antibiotic, the antibiotic has substance in it. It has a level of milligram or whatever it is. It has substance. So when you swallow that tablet, the substance gets into your body and it starts working. Most often when somebody is sick, they'll come to a doctor and say, I'm, I'm this, I have this issue, that issue. The doctor will say, if you want to stay healed for the rest of your life, you have to take this tablet for the rest of your life. The same applies to a Christian who has received his or her healing from the Lord Jesus through his mercy, through his blood, through his power, through his Holy Spirit, through his servant. You have to stay connected to the substance, just like a sick patient will require to swallow that tablet till the very end of their life. You have to stay connected to the substance till the very end of your life. And the substance is the presence of God. You can't disconnect yourself from the source. The source is God, Christ himself. You can't disconnect yourself from the servant who is the man of God. And you can't disconnect yourself from the substance which is the presence of God. My precious people of God. Oh, this is so important. This is so important in, in your life to make sure that these three areas are well preserved and looked after. Because the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse number 22. Our final scripture, Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 22. The scripture tells us, In whom you are built together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. A beautiful verse. Paul is explaining that we as a church are built together as a habitation for God. Beloved, we are a a, a built temple together for God's spirit to dwell, beloved. God wants to live permanently in us through the presence of the Holy Spirit. So you can't disconnect yourself from the source. You can't get up one morning and decide to be an atheist and expect to keep your healing. You cannot. That is what it means to stay connected to the source. You can't let go of the men of God who, who God used to heal you. And third and final, you must eternally be in the presence of God. You cannot go to church once, uh, once a year. That's where the corporate anointing is, the habitation of God's Spirit, built together. Pastor, but I believe in church at home. Fine, fine. But then there is something better. Why not go for it? Why not go for it? I leave you with these three simple principles to keep your healing. Stay connected to the source, the servants of God, and the substance of God. You will never lose your healing. Share this with others. And I will see you again next Thursday for another broadcast on Faithful Videos on PastorJerome.org. God loves you. Amen. <music>